Hello there. How are you? Hi guys. It's a Thursday morning. I'm going to my early doctor's appointment, my annual weekly appointment, which is part of my program <clears throat> and part of being stable is always making sure I attend those appointments, never miss them, always be clean, always present myself in a proper manner and always keep proving to them that I am on the right path and I am you know because not only do they know now that I am sticking to the program very good actually I'm sticking to it right on you know um, I haven't been uh, overdoing my meds for quite a while which means I uh, finally stopped playing that dumb game, you know, of, uh, oh, one day I feel like uh, cravings and I feel like I'm not going to make it, I'm not going to take it, I'm going to lose my mind, and I take a few more pills just because I think they're going to help me feel better, sometimes they do, most times they don't. And then I end up being shorting myself on my medication that I'm supposed to have for the whole week. You know, <clears throat> I see the doctor and part of the program is that once a month I see a doctor in, re in rehab in town. They prescribe me the methadone, you know, <clears throat> for the next month to take hold to Denman Island. And I always do that or a doctor does that. And then a family doctor on Denman Island dispenses it, the medications to me. He dispenses it uh, on a weekly basis. We see each other. We are always in touch. And uh, we are always, you know, keep keeping each other in a loop and helping each other out, you know. And, um, but um, <clears throat> I chose to go and walk today, you know. Usually I would hitchhike or something to go get there faster. But um, one of the benefits of no longer being uh, physical, de physically dependent on stuff is that, um, whew, <laughs> you know, one, well, um, back in the day, I would have been uh, there at the doctor's office before anybody, you know, just to get those pills and get everything, you know, and... Uh, That'd be sad. That was kind of sad. But, um, you know, now I can uh, <clears throat> enjoy a walk there and I don't even feel like crashing, you know. Um, <clears throat> just enjoying life a bit more. And, uh, excuse me for the noise, which you might hear from time to time. But on this island, it would only be car driving by or something, you know, nothing else. Beautiful, ain't it? <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to enjoy this walk. Also, what I'm going to do, do, do for myself is uh, get something to eat and uh, make sure that I have food and water and medication all properly in my body so that my my body chemically is fully balanced the way it should be and so that I can be oh, you know of good support to others who may need some support right now you know and um, so I could be a good daddy you know uh, by that I mean you know more fun than boring um, tomorrow when my girl comes after school you know and um, all of the above look how beautiful it is you know and um, I'm grateful today once again for the love I keep receiving from uh, people close to me and those far and um, for sobriety and for being clean because uh, I really I get get to be in this moment right now because 
because I've decided to clean up, you know. I really recommend it to you, you know. You can do it, man. You can do it. It's totally doable, man. It's totally doable. It's done on daily basis, you know. And I'm not your, uh, you, you know, special kind of person or nothing, you know. All you got to do is follow your heart and follow the people who are involved in helping, you know, who are involved in getting you out of out of this, you know. Eventually you will get yourself out and you will probably end up getting other people out. As for now, let's have a beautiful day. Let's follow the program. Follow the program. If you're not on it already, get on it because stability is super cool and beneficial when you're already in rehabilitation and you get your life back.